Hey guys, welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am going to show you guys how to make some tooth powder today. So it's just basically another form of cleaning your teeth. So if you guys aren't really wanting to make the complicated remineralizing toothpaste, which isn't too complicated, but a bit more complicated than this one, you guys can make this easy to do tooth powder. Some people prefer to use tooth powder as it's a bit more convenient to carry with you, say when you go traveling, because there's no like oils or anything in it, especially if it's a natural toothpaste, you wouldn't have find it like leaking or anything. And it's just like a tooth powder, so essentially it's dry, so you can just easily pack it in a bag, take it with you anywhere. And yeah, I don't know. Some people just prefer using a tooth powder. Tooth powder can actually be used as a form of toothpaste itself, so you don't actually have to use toothpaste and tooth powder, you can just use the tooth powder or toothpaste. If you want to check out my re remineralizing toothpaste which I've made in a previous video, feel free to check it above. I will link it in the cards. It's a great toothpaste. And I honestly swear by it. It helps to reverse cavities and strengthen your enamel, which is amazing. At least that's what I've heard anyway. I noticed that it actually helped to get rid of stains that were on my front teeth here that were there for ages. Honestly, I can't remember when I didn't have them before. And I started using that toothpaste and Voila, they were gone. It was just like the best thing ever. So I will be showing you guys how to make that tooth powder today. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I will also link in the cards above my oil pulling recipe, which is again another great mouth oral care sort of thing you can do where it actually draws out any toxins, bacteria, viruses, fungi that can be in your mouth, it draws it out and when you expel it, when you spit it out, helps to get rid of those bacteria and things. So another benefit to using tooth powder is that when you do make that remineralizing toothpaste because it has coconut oil in it and some other ingredients, it can be a problem for people with a septic system as the coconut oil can harden and clog up your pipes over time. So what I do when I use that toothpaste is I actually spit it outside in the garden when I'm a bit gross. Probably TMI, too much information there. But it's great to know if you guys want to make that toothpaste. A little tip is not to spit it down the sink because it can build up over time and clog up the pipes. So a good idea is to actually just spit it outside and then rinse your mouth as usual. But with the tooth powder, this doesn't happen. So that can also be a benefit too. Also, this tooth powder recipe has a healing clay in it, which is bentonite clay has many many different amazing properties so bentonite clay actually binds to and then draws out heavy metals and toxins in the body and this is a great win for your mouth there's usually a lot of toxins and pathogens bacteria actually it's like the mouth is like a gateway for them so basically when bentonite clay is mixed with water it becomes like a sponge it swells and becomes like this porous sponge and from there the toxins are drawn into that through an electrical attraction so it electric like electrical charges bind them to the clay and from there they're drawn out of the body as it is expelled out bentonite clay is great as well because it's alkaline so it helps to alkalize your mouth so the other ingredients also have some benefits to your teeth as well so baking soda is alkaline it also contains great minerals for your body and helps to remove stains so that's why that's included in this recipe there's also calcium powder which helps to provide extra minerals to your teeth and it helps to whiten them we also have ground cloves in it which helps to provide a natural antibacterial element to it and gives it a good taste as well very important <laughs> Cinnamon, which is also antibacterial and helps to discourage bacterial growth in your mouth and also provides a good taste to the tooth powder too. Mint is soothing to the gums and also tastes great as well. And an optional ingredient, which is xylitol, is just a natural sweetener for the tooth powder because it can be not that great tasting. Same with my toothpaste recipe. I tend to leave this ingredient out. I don't really need the extra sweetener, but for some of you, who do prefer the sweetness and like normal toothpaste and stuff this is an important ingredient because otherwise it doesn't taste fabulous you do get used to the taste over time but it can be a while before you do adjust to the taste it can be a bit clay type like all right enough of my rambling and blabbling blabbling blabbing on we're going to get straight into how to make this tooth powder of the moment we've all been waiting for we're finally at this point in the video let's get to it if you're using mint leaf though not peppermint um, essential oil you're going to need to blend that up in either a blender or a coffee grinder just to form a powder so then it mixes more smoothly through the tooth powder recipe mixture otherwise you're gonna have clumps of leaf in there and you probably get them stuck in your teeth and 
that's not what you want. So it's really, really easy to make this recipe. All you're going to do is pop all the ingredients into a bowl, mix that around together so it's all combined well, and then you're going to pop it into a glass jar. I'll just get mine. I just quickly sterilized my glass jars, which is what you like, preferably want to do, just to prevent nothing getting into that mixture of yours to help it last longer as well. Although because this recipe doesn't have any wet ingredients or anything in there, it pretty much lasts indefinitely. So you can use this tooth powder over a very long period of time, which is just excellent. <laughs> excellent. 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 So I've just sterilized it, so I've actually got to let it dry before I put anything in there, because if it's wet, it's going to make the tooth powder go more like a clumped powder. I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm just going to dry this. But I just wanted to show you, this is the glass jar that I'll be using, just a little tiny one. But you can use a bigger size, small size, or a different container in general just to hold the tooth powder in and then you can keep it in your bathroom ready to use. And to use it, it's very simple. All you're going to do is wet your toothbrush slightly, then just dip it into the tooth powder and brush your teeth like normal. And then rinse out and voila, your teeth have been cleaned with tooth powder. So it's a very, very simple thing to use, very simple thing to make. I hope you guys like it. I love baking DIYs, especially things that for your teeth to keep them healthy, happy, white and shining. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, this is one of my favourite recipes to make. I just absolutely love tooth powder ever since I found it at Bayomi Stores and I heard about it a few years ago as well. I've just been wanting to make my own and have some of my own at home to use. And it is honestly such a like, health boost for your teeth. It's so great. So... Yeah. Today's comment of the day goes to Shanette for life. Thank you so much for leaving such a beautiful comment on my first part of my Queensland vlog. Oh, it was so sweet. And I'm so glad you liked it. Thank you everyone for commenting, watching and liking my videos. I'm so, so blessed to have such a wonderful community supporting me and watching my videos. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys. I hope to see you in future videos of mine. Bye.